where there are three things, three units mentioned in a ratio. Rupees 5000 is divided among A, B and C in the ratio of 3 is to 5 is to 2. Find the percentage of share of each and the amount each gets. Here there are three persons A, B and C and the money is getting divided in 3 is to 5 is to 2 ratio. Let's see the percentage share. A's share will be, A's share is 3x and similarly B's share is 5x and C's share is 2x because we don't know the value of x so I am writing 3x, 5x and 2x exact quantity we don't know it's given in a ratio and the total is 5 plus 3 plus 2 is 10x now the similar method which we had applied in earlier problems will be done here for calculation of percentage of A's share so percentage of A's share is 3x upon 10x into 100 3x by 10x into 100 this x cancels out 0 and here I get 30% 30% is A's share similarly B's share is 5x upon 10x into 100 5x upon 10x into 100 and this x cancels out, this cancels out and this becomes 50%. This is B's share. So when 30%, 50%, then naturally the percentage of C will be 20%. Because 100 minus 80 is 20%. So C's share is 20%. I am writing directly. C's share is 20%. Now in the second part of the question, we have to find out the share that each person gets. Share of A, B and C. We have found out the percentage, now we find out the share. So it is 3x, 5x and 2x or else we know that it is 30% share of A. So directly we can find out A's share is 30% of the total. 30% of the total amount. And the total amount is 5000. So 30 by 100, 30% of 5000. This will be A's share. We have to find out the percentage first and then we can do like this. This cancels out and it is 5 into 3, 15, 1500. This is A's share. Similarly, B's share will be. 50%. We had calculated earlier, it is coming out to be 50%. So it is 50 by 100 into 5000 and here two zeros cancel out, it becomes 2500. Now to find out C's share, we have two methods. Either we add up these two and subtract it from 5000. So I get 5000 minus 4000. Sum of these two is 4000. I am directly getting C's share as 1000 or else I could have done with percentage method. I, I know that C's share is 20%. So 20% of 5000, it is coming to be 1000. Directly I could have got by subtracting 5000 minus 4000, I could have got this 1000 or else I calculate with the percentage 20 by 100 into 5000. So this is how we calculate the amount that each person gets. So here is another problem. The marks obtained by Mahi in English, Maths and Hindi are in the ratio of 7 is to 8 is to 5. The total marks obtained by her is 300. This is the sum of all the three subjects is 300. Find the marks obtained in each subject and the percentage. Let's see how to do it. 7x, 8x and 5x. These are the numbers because the ratio is given, not the actual number. So let's take it as 7x, 8x and 5x. These are the marks obtained in English, Maths and Hindi. These are the marks. 7, 8 and 5. When I add them up, what I get is 7 plus 8, 15 plus 5 is 20x. These are the total marks obtained. We don't know the value of x. This we have to find out to know the numbers of each subject. 
but it's given that the total marks is 300. This is the total of all these marks. So 20x equals 300 and this 2, 0 cancels out. x is equal to 30 by 2. I get x as 15. So this is the value of x that I am getting. This way I can find out the marks obtained in each subject by multiplying 7 into 15, 8 into 15 and 5 into 15. Let's do the calculations. So on doing the calculations, what I get is 7 into 15 is 105, 8 into 15 is 120 and 5 into 15 is 75. Let's see whether the total is coming to be 300 or not. 120 plus 105 is 325 plus 75. Uh, 225 plus 75. Yes, it's 300. So these marks are correct. So these are the marks obtained by Mahi in these subjects. All three subjects. And when I have to find out the percentage of the marks that I have got, I have to know the total marks also. Suppose the total marks are 600. If it is not given in the question, then you have to assume it. I'm assuming that the total marks are 600. So, total marks is equal to 600. Percentage obtained. Percentage obtained is calculated by the marks that she has got. 300 divided by 600 in 200. This will be giving me the percentage of total, um, total marks that she has obtained. So it comes out to be 50%. Hope you are liking all our videos. So send in your suggestions and queries in the comment box. Share the videos with your friends and press the bell icon for the latest information on all the videos of Maths and English. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. Idea Inkling.